up, Aries? It's West Coast Tarot with your July general love reading. This is for my lovely Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Aries out there. But if you like my style and I vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. Also, um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. I see you guys month after month in the comments, and a lot of you I recognize, and again, I'm just really thankful for everyone. Um, if you want a personal reading with me or want to know about any of the decks that I use, I always list that information down below as well as how to contact me, okay? Um, so this is a general reading, guys. Keep in mind, I have to do that generic disclaimer. Roles can be reversed. Energies can be reversed. Apply it how it resonates, and cross-watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective. All right, so Spirit, what am I allowed to know? What are the energies surrounding Aries in regards to love for the month of July? What are the love energies surrounding Aries for the month of July, please? Tell me about my Aries in love. Okay, so we have fair male. Um, a lot of you could be dealing with someone who is you know, coming off as innocent. This person can be more um, light-complected compared to you. This can be a, um, a masculine energy, male or female, doesn't have to be. Someone with light-colored eyes, okay. Um, you guys seem to have a soulmate energy surrounding you. So soulmates come into our life for a reason. They come into our life for seasons. Some of us have many soulmates. Um, some of us have maybe one or two in our life. But again, a soulmate was intended for you. A soulmate serves a purpose in your life, okay? And we have control. So a lot of you might be feeling like you are um, being controlled by someone um, or feeling that you have no power, that someone's trying to control you, okay? So let's go ahead and see um, what the tarot says, okay? All right, Spirit, tell me about the energies in regards to love for my Aries for the month of July. I already pre-shuffled. I'm just giving it another go. Aries, in regards to love for the month of July, please. We have three of pentacles in reverse, nine of pentacles, king of cups, eight of cups, judgment, six of pentacles. That's my Aries. Okay, two of cups. There's that soulmate energy. Two of swords, knight of pentacles in reverse. The Devil, Two of Wands, Temperance in Reverse, Justice in Reverse, Eight of Wands, and The Fool. Okay, Aries. <laughs> wow, okay. So I feel, I feel overall, right now, with the Three of Pentacles here in Reverse, um, I feel like there's been a lack of teamwork, okay? There's been someone that's been not cooperating with you, not putting in much effort, um, you know, has been creating conflict in your life. But I see here that you are not trying to have any of that, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles energy here, right now you're focusing on yourself, you're focusing on your independence and your freedom. You're trying to take care of yourself, you're trying to enjoy the fruits of your labor, you know, you're really just trying to thrive, okay? And I feel like you guys are trying to be mature. You're trying to level up. With the King of Cups energy, there could be a water sign that is significant in your life. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer doesn't have to be. But this person, this is either you or another person. But I feel like right now, um, you are really just trying to, you just be really trying to be 
protective, okay? You 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 have potential for love being loving, okay? But I feel like right now you also have a lot of knowledge and you're trying to balance out your emotions, okay? Um, if that's not it, you do have someone around you that seems to be very um, emotionally mature, okay? So there's someone who might be um, keeping an eye on you that's emotionally mature, okay? Or there's someone that was refusing to work with you. So let's go ahead and get some clarification. I'm going to clarify the Three of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Spirit, why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse here for Aries overall? Yeah, you guys were in a situation um, with the Nine of Cups here in reverse that was just very, very hard, very dissatisfying, okay? I feel that um, you were in a situation that wasn't bringing you joy. You know, you were just not happy in the situation because it was too disorganized, it was too chaotic, and it wasn't for you, okay? And this was definitely with, here we go again, Nine of Cups. So it definitely could have been with this water sign or someone who you had romantic feelings with or was trying to approach you. But the thing with the Nine of Cups is that this is a love offer. This is someone who has romantic feelings towards you, but some in some decks and some readers say that this is also the knight that has a trail of broken hearts behind them. Okay. So it's it's an energy you want to you want to really be cautious of. But the Knight of Cups also talks about following your heart. So I feel like you guys left the situation. Um, you might have felt it was too controlling. Um, you know, this this may have very well been one of your soulmates, but you left this connection to be independent from this, to focus on yourself, to follow your heart, to chase after your dreams, okay? So why is the King of Cups energy here for Aries? Tell me about the King of Cups here for Aries. Ooh! King of Cups for Aries. Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you guys are just moving on from this person. Um, you know, I feel that this person may have been somewhat unstable in your life. Um, I feel like you may have had emotion for this person, but right now you're really just trying to move on. You're trying to heal from the situation. Um, and with the Knight of Wands energy, a lot of you guys could be dating. Okay, A lot of you guys could be um, having fun, hooking up with other people, meeting people on like dating apps. But I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to move on from the situation here. Okay, And trying to move on fast because I see this Eight of Cups energy. So yeah, you guys are abandoning a situation here. You're walking away because it's not for you. Okay, You're using your judgment now you are starting to weigh out decisions better. You're really reflecting on what you have done in the past and what's not working and where you want to be in the future. So you guys are really in this self-evaluation mode, okay? And I feel like a lot of you um, aren't harboring any anger. I feel like you guys are willing to forgive people if they ask for it. But right now, you guys are trying to... And I feel like, honestly, you guys are open to renewing something with someone, but it's going to take an apology, okay? And I feel like you're not really... Focus on staying there and simmering on it. Right now, you're walking away. You're abandoning the situation. Uh, look at my nail. It's not broken. It's just my polish chipped off. I knew it was ugly. Um, but with the Eight of Cups here, you guys are, again, just walking away. And I feel like a lot of you are focusing on money. Okay, A lot of you are just really focusing on work. A lot of you could be applying yourself. Um, you're really just trying to focus on balancing out money. Improve money is the energy I'm feeling here. Um, a lot of you guys are sharing if you what you do have. You're being very ger generous. And some of you are even being very charitable. Okay, but I feel like right now your biggest focus is like putting these cups behind you and moving on to pentacle energy, okay? So please clarify the judgment. Why is this here for Aries? Why is the judgment here for Aries? Ooh. Yeah. So you guys are um, investing right now. Okay. A lot of you are hardworking, working hard, being perseverant, and being very diligent. And I really feel that this is in regards to money. This is patience. This is planning. This is thinking about long term. This is thinking about future. So I feel like this is taking priority to any other thing. Okay. I feel like you guys, um, 
you know, you guys are breaking free. You're being independent. You're no longer staying under the control of someone. You're no longer being controlled of the energy that seems to be um, really, that was once really strongly in your thoughts, okay? This person that you guys were connecting with, um, definite soulmate potential or soul connection, soul contract energy here is what I'm getting. I feel that this person still has feelings for you. Okay, I feel like this person still feels connected to you. They still have um, a tie to you. But with the Two of Swords energy, they're not taking any action towards you. Okay, they feel that there's a difficult choice. They're very indecisive over you. You know, it's like they don't know how to approach you. They're in their head over you. Um, they're overthinking you. They're overthinking about you, but they're not really making a any action or decision towards coming towards you. They're just in their head over you. And I feel like it's to the point of obsessiveness. I feel like someone's really obsessing over you, um, but they're not putting any action towards you. They're not making you any stable offers, okay? I feel like um, this person might be going through a, a point in their life where they're not using their common sense. They might be very irresponsible, okay? I feel like they might just be um, not like a deadbeat, but I feel like they, in a sense, they feel like broken inside or they feel wounded inside. And because of this, I feel like they're not really taking action towards you. They're not motivated to put any effort. Um, they really are just not using their common sense, which they have potential to do. This is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If this person really applied themselves, they can make you a stable offer and one that you would want. If this person apologized, you would probably reconsider if they showed you that they were someone different. They, but I feel like right now, um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I do know that there is compassion here. Okay, and I know that you guys have a very forgiving heart, and I feel like if this person really showed you that they wanted you, or showed you that they changed, um, or or apologized, or come towards you correctly, then I feel like you would maybe not have walked away from the situation. But right now, you are focusing on other things because you're feeling like this will never happen, and this person's stuck. This person's not really applying themselves, even though they feel this way about you. They're doing nothing about it, and it's really frustrating energy. Okay. I feel like it's, I feel like, um, now there is Capricorn energy, okay? So I feel like externally to you, a lot of you could have just been dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Period, point blank, just dealing with the Capricorn. Um, but I feel like outside, um, aside from you, what you are not putting into the connection, what this person, what may have been happening externally of this connection or interfering with this connection, we have the devil energy. Okay, so this is um, someone being very tempted. There could have been addictions at play. Um, someone could have been, you know, sleeping around, having sexual addictions. There's various reasons, but I feel like there was a lot of toxicity external to what you were bringing to the relationship. And I feel like this definitely played a role in contributing to the downfall of this connection, okay? Spirit, why is the devil energy here? Why is the devil energy here? The eight of pentacles did flip over, but I I wasn't sure. But I was just, again, this is someone who is lacking passion, no inspiration, no motivation to work on anything, I feel like, because they're broken. Yeah. And this person was juggling. Okay. This person, you know, they might have been work, heavily working as well, but I feel like with the two of pentacles with the devil, that's juggling energy. So they might have been dealing with one or more person, um, you know, and focusing on many priorities, many other options. They also could have been very indecisive about you, very emotionally aloof. Spirit, tell me why the Two of Pentacles is here. Too many. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of you guys just want to move on from conflict. Yeah, Seven of Wands. I feel like this person might have been dealing with other things outside of your relationship that they felt they had to defend themselves. Um, you know, they, they could have been defending themselves from an ex-person, a karmic partner, and they could have been fighting to maintain in control of their life. They could have been fighting to stay on top of priorities. And this could be why they are very broken. 
and why they were not motivated to put work into the connection with you because they were getting pulled in many directions. But whatever it was that was pulling them, I feel that it was very toxic, okay? I feel that it was very toxic. I wanted to clarify the Knight of Pentacles, so let's go back a little bit, gang. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse for Aries person? Ooh! Oh, goodness. See, the Three of Cups just showed itself to me. Um, so why is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse, please, sir? But again, I keep feeling like this person, yeah, you know, yeah, strong soul connection here. Um, I feel like this person could be worried about other things. You know, they could not be, they may not be able to um, make any effort towards you or, or come towards you. They're just, you know, obsessing over you, but they're not taking action towards you. But with the Four of Wands energy here in reverse, I feel like they just don't have strong enough support system. And, you know, they could be in between homes. They could have a lot of home conflict. They could feel like, like time is not right to come towards you. Now, that is very specific if you or guys are dealing with a Capricorn, um, specifically a Capricorn masculine, because Capricorn masculine don't like to come towards you when they don't have anything to contribute or bring towards the table. This is someone who, um, and it doesn't have to be just be a Capricorn, but some individuals will not take action unless they feel that they have enough to bring to the table enough to join in um, a stable union. They don't want to come in with, you know, with nothing. They want to feel like they can um, bring something to the table. Okay. Um, obstacles in this connection, we have two of wands. Okay. So I feel like um, a major obstacle was someone planning, you know, making a decision to come towards you. I feel like someone was very indecisive towards fully committing towards you. I feel like this person was like planning in their head, making decisions, but they were also moving. Okay. I feel like someone was, you know, may have been considering moving, but I feel like there was a decision to be made and perhaps it was not made. Spirit, why is two of wands here? Tell me about the obstacles in this connection for Aries. With the Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords here in reverse, I feel that um, there was a lot of anxiety here. There was a lot of um, energy. It was like seemed very hopeless or that it would never work out. But I still feel that this person with the Nine of Swords energy, they're, um, they, in a part of them feels like reaching out to you. They just don't know how to do it. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. Yeah, and I feel like someone um, walked away from this connection. You know, someone was just um, not fully invested and walked away from their responsibility. So I feel like someone walked away from the situation. Someone had to. Um, and I feel that the other person um, was very stressed out. And I feel like this person wants to hear. There's an individual that wants to hear from the other party here. Okay. How this person feels about you, we have the temperance in reverse. This is the Sagittarius energy. But this person is, seems to be very imbalanced over you. Okay, this person is growing impatient. This is impatient energy. But I feel like with the temperance here in reverse, um, this person is not balanced over you. Okay, I feel like they're they're going through very extreme times right now, is what I'm seeing here. Um, I feel that this person is, you know... Like, I want to say almost, you know, crazy over you. This person's really thinking about you. Um, they feel that things are not balanced out. And they're being very extreme in their life. Spirit, why is the temperance card here, please, for Aries? See, and then this four of pentacles energy, this is letting go. This is letting go, but also possessiveness. So I feel like this person wants to let go of you, okay? I feel like this person's growing impatient of, you know, this connection. They're thinking about you. They're obsessing over you, but they're not taking any action towards you. And I feel like this person wants to let you go, but part of them is still 
in a sense, um, trying to, part of them still has a little bit of possessiveness over you, but uh, I feel like this person is like being kind of um, greedy. I feel like this person's not like making the effort that they need to. So they're like, in a sense, it makes no sense to me that they're growing impatient over you, but they're not taking action towards you. Yeah. This person's taking it as a loss. You know, they feel like in regards to this connection, it's a failure. Um, and I feel like it is a failure because they maybe did not give you the attention that you wanted, Aries, or they didn't put the effort that you felt that they needed to. And I feel like this person's very imbalanced over you. I feel like they're trying to move on from you, but they still feel a small part of you in their heart. They are still a, a small part of you in their heart is what I'm getting here. Okay. Outcome, we have Justice in Reverse. This is Libra Energy, Eight of Wands, and the Fool. So Aries, this is this is typical Aries, okay? I feel like you guys are not going to be anyone's fool. You're not going to let anyone manipulate you. You're not going to let anyone take advantage of you, and you're no longer going to be naive. Right now, you're moving on. I feel like with the, just, the Justice here in Reverse, there was a situation that was very unfair, I feel like someone was dishonest to you and they're they're being very un, they're not taking accountability in the situation. So I feel that's why I feel like you guys are um breaking free from this control. Okay? I feel like you guys are no longer being held hostage in your heart. And even though you guys might say, "Oh, I'm over this person." Yes, you're moving on from this person, but a small part of you still holds on to this person and I know that. And I feel like you guys are moving on to protect yourself, which is beautiful energy. I don't want you guys staying stagnant on a person, overthinking about a person, especially if this person is not making any effort towards you. Okay. But I feel like, you know, there's some nights that you guys are tempted to pick up the phone and call this person. You know, it's like that Kehlani song, Nights Like This. You know, I feel like a lot of you do get tempted to, you know, reach out to this person and I feel like this person would like to hear from you too but no one's making that effort and I feel like right now your guys' priorities are getting pulled towards money okay and I feel like a lot of you um you know you guys are able to move on very quickly Aries are very resilient they're the the bounce back kids okay so I feel like um you're not gonna let this person know it okay that you're hurting or if you miss them and I feel it's okay. I feel like you guys are getting over this, you know, slowly but surely. A lot of you are way over it. I see a lot of you might be dating, like I said, or on dating apps as well. So I do feel proud of you guys that you are moving on. But I still feel that if this person made you a decent offer or showed you that they changed, then a part of you might be open to a reconciliation with that judgment card there, okay? We have innocence. It says, a time when you are open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life may indicate a move. Finding the child within, a time to play. Do not take things too seriously. And also with the feather here, you guys, watch signs from spirit. I feel like spirit might be sending you signs um, in regards to life path, life choices. But I feel like you guys have a whole new life ahead of you. You guys have new opportunities. And I feel like this is why you guys aren't really sweating anyone right now you're not stressing on anyone i feel like you guys are focused on new opportunities especially in regards to money i feel like that's your biggest focus what else spirit what other messages do we have for aries in regards to love in regards to life or in regards to the situation please messages for aries It says outcome. Even though you are experiencing many obstacles, you will survive any and all conditions. Many lessons learned. The results of your experience are expressing their are presenting their rewards. So I feel like you guys are going to get the outcome you're seeking. Um, anything that you had to endure to get to this point, um, take it as experience, apply it to your life. But I feel like you will survive any and all conditions. So I feel like if you guys are feeling like you have suffered, if you're going through a lot right now, you're going to get through it and you might need guidance here. Someone has or is about to enter your life as a teacher. Great opportunity for to advance. 
you may decide to go back to school to further your education. Guidance can come in many forms. Listen to your intuition. So this is beautiful energy, Aries. This is very beautiful energy here. Angels, what messages do you have for Aries in regards to love for the month of July? Messages for Aries in regards to love. Tell me about my Aries, please, for the month of July. Yeah, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So I feel like it definitely is the person that you guys were or currently are connecting with. This person has feelings for you, but they're not expressing it to you. They would rather um, suffer in silence than to come towards you and reveal who they really are. And I feel that um, they're also being deceptive with themselves and they may have mis misled you in the past. Okay, what else, Spirit? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like a lot of you, this is um, especially relevant to the ones who are dating new people, getting out and meeting new people. It's time to get to know each other. Someone might be a little shy around you. That's why we have the deception card. So you might need to see beyond that. And ooh, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So a lot of you um, have already met the person that you are seeking. There could be a soulmate energy coming towards you. Um, someone who's just not um, really expressing themselves. But I feel like you guys are... Having a lot of future potentials with these people that you're dating, okay? All right, angels, what messages do you have for Aries for the month of July in regards to love? Messages for Aries, please. It says, spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. I love this. I feel like it's just good to be on the same page as someone. Communication is the most important thing in a relationship. So it's always good to make sure that you're on the same page. It's always good to just catch up, make sure you guys are good, um, that you fully understand. I feel like a lot of times relationships suffer because people are too afraid to open up. They're too afraid to be vulnerable with one another. And this is why a lot of relationships fail. And this is why a lot of relationships never get fixed because people would rather go their whole life without talking to someone, without apologizing, without opening up or being seen, seen as the weaker one. Um, you know, they'd rather harbor that whole pain their whole life rather than to apologize and go towards someone who is, you know, their true love or the, the love of their life, okay? So spend some quality time together. All right, Aries, I am going to leave it here. I wish you an amazing July, okay? Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below, like I said. And if this video hit home with you, please like and subscribe. Again, I really appreciate all of your support. Love and light. Take care.